Welcome back to Chang'an, the bustling capital of the mighty Tang Empire. Over six generations ago, during the reign of the Emperor Wan Di of the Sui Dynasty, your hallowed ancestor judiciously planned the streets and laid out the wards of this still thriving city. It has now been ten summers since Emperor Shen Zhong took power after first ridding the Tang courts of the bitter intrigue fostered by the insidious Empress Wu. Already, he has become acclaimed for his humane government and has firmly reasserted the personal authority of the emperor, lifting the glorious Tang Empire to new heights of splendor and power. Sadly, while the brilliant emperor has nobly tended to his empire, the streets of Chang'an have been sorely neglected. Now, he yearns for the city to put on a new face and assume its rightful position in the world. As the newly appointed imperial magistrate, reporting directly to Emperor Shen Zhong, esteemed son of heaven, you are to oversee construction of a grand palace. You also need to ensure that schools for drama and theater pavilions for entertainment are added to the city's elite wards. Of course, the emperor understands that some discretionary urban renewal might be necessary. G'day mates and welcome back to Emperor. Today we're heading back to Chang'an again. So another capital mission and we've already built this one up. So we require almost every single menagerie animal. We require some... Uh, let me think about I think there's 25 per building. So we're going to need at least 8 heavenly compounds and a large palace which I think is the same thing we built. Now, actually it might be the big long rectangular one. Let's have a look anyway at the city. I do forget how I built this up and oh Jesus wow. Okay, oh, there's heaps of space down here though, so I'm not concerned. It's a little bit of a shame that we can't um, fit everything into the city. Because it's yeah, a little bit tight in here. Jeez, what did I build here? Huh. Oh, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, this is the little housing block, the third block I threw down the bottom to absorb a couple of extra workers. I've got it now. So you need tea, I think. I don't need a Taoist building. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to sort this one out. I'm sure there's a Taoist building somewhere. Yeah, there's one over here. So, yep, yeah, that'll uh, it'll go off and level those guys up shortly. These guys down here in the process of leveling up. And everything else seems to be running quite nice. Let's have a quick look at our gods. They're mildly upset so have some ceramics that'll bring you back on board gradually uh, you're very happy probably because of this big ass pagoda here and one two three four five six ah it's not enough well wow. I've shot myself in the foot here this is going to be a problem I could probably clear out a lot of this shit here and throw down a couple of extra um, couple of extra buildings here to... I need two more. That one's not going to cut it, unfortunately. So two more. Where can I fit them? Uh, if we're worst case scenario, I could probably remove some of this shit, put it over here, and uh, put in the two buildings there. So this block will fit. It's fit for purpose. So all we need now are a couple of menagerie animals. Uh, wait, are they not heavenly compounds? No, they need drama access. Okay, it's going to get a hell of a lot more complicated. Perhaps I can put a drama building over here. Oop, that's a drama school. Theatre pavilion is, I think it's the same size. Yeah, it's the same size as one of those, it's 4x4. Four four, so I can uh, do a little, what do they call it? Urban, urban renewal. <laughs> so I can bulldoze the crap out of that and rebuild some shit over there. And get this all nice and sorted. I probably would have been great to know what I had to build advance, but I guess it's why I'm playing this game blind. So I have to adapt and overcome. Uh, there's a shit ton of space over here, but I don't think I'm going to need anything else. I'm just going to need to... Um, have we got lacquerware? Yes, we've got lacquerware. So we've got all the food, all the uh, types required. I think I can handle this. And let's have a quick look at that large palace while we're here. Yeah, it's a big, long, rectangular one. I can rotate it. And now I might place it just behind these once I've got them in position. But I'll cut back once I'm sorted. Okay, it's taken a little bit of work, a little bit of rejuggling up here, trying to get these corner ones all done up, and of course getting these two here. But we have ourselves now 200 people living in heavenly compounds. 
So that is one, two, eight of them. As expected, they each hold 25 occupants. Now over here we've got our housing stabilized. This one here was having a small problem because the uh, Dower Shrine was spawning out there. So another roadblock there took care of all that. And uh, these guys appear to have oh, a tea problem. They were struggling a little bit with food, but now using a getting warehouse down here, we can uh, we get everything nice and sorted. I am going to throw down a couple of extra farms though, just to ensure that full stability can be achieved. So this was quite far from this little uh, this mill up here, but we actually we are struggling a little bit in terms of food. I think a couple of extra farms won't go amiss. So if I throw those down quickly, then we'll be looking much better. Okay, Nia is requesting weapons again. Looks like this is going to be an ongoing thing, even across multiple missions. Um, I mean, I have the weapons available. I don't know where they are. I think they're down here. Yeah, they're down here. So we've got shit tons of weapons available, so I can easily send those off. We are still in the process of building up these forts. However, I have a sneaking suspicion that they're not getting any weapons delivered because they think the access point is up the top there. Uh, yep, that was exactly what it was. So those are now being fully delivered. They've got their yeah, weapons, weapons, and weapons. Excellent. So those should now build up properly and get ourselves a proper military. Uh, Nia is happy and things are looking good. So let's just keep ticking over, make sure our gods aren't too pissed off. There's only Huang Di to look after. So it would be pretty lazy of me to let him get unhappy. And at this point, all we're doing is waiting for more animals to come in. I'm gradually sending them off, ticking up high. What have we got now? A uh, Saiga antelope and a pheasant. We can get a couple more uh, as time ticks over, but that'll allow us to uh, basically win the mission. From here, it's just a rush to the end. Okay, looks like Nia is under attack from Larsa. Again, we're having regular repeated attacks here. We're going to dispatch off some people. Uh, we'll set off... Uh, well, we need some cavalry. Let's send off those three of cavalry and some audacious rabbits. I want to keep these remaining ones at home. For some reason, the courageous rabbits are fleeing. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that is, but we'll send off those four. They should be able to defend Nia. Um, let's have a look at our military. Why are they fleeing? Demoralized troops. Return home. Uh, they seem seriously glitched out. Uh, Gobi Bear, thank you. We need a panda. I think we already had a panda. That doesn't matter. Um... Turn home? No? Yeah, there is something seriously bugged out with this particular set of dudes, but uh, I'm not sure what we can do. And Victoria's soldiers have returned, so we did manage to protect Nia, and of course getting more animals. Uh, Vulture, okay, excellent. Things are ticking over nicely. And our beautiful, beautiful soldiers have returned. Let's have a look. Uh, five, so we lost a couple of horsemen. And a couple of infantry, but overall our forces are mostly intact. I uh, did manage to fix these guys as well. They are, thank you, Nia. They are no longer demoralized. Something to do with, they weren't quite on the, even though it was a new fort, they weren't quite on home. So by dispatching them and then bringing them back, and they did manage to uh, go back to normal and they have recovered. Uh, these guys here, let's actually make sure they are at their fort as well. Because maybe that's what went wrong, I'm not sure exactly. But uh, make sure everyone has their, uh, yep, have the tea. Make sure everyone has their flag on their fort. That will, uh, I suppose, keep the morale high. Alrighty, Nia is now suffering famine. This city is starting to be more trouble than it's worth almost. Uh, eight bundles of milk, I mean, that's very easy to send off. But what exactly are they doing for us? They are... They buy some silk, so on silk trading missions we can get a little bit there. They'll sell a food type, carved jade is useless, and they will sell us paper, which could be handy on some missions, I suppose, if we can't, uh, if we can't make our own, although it's assuming we're paper makers. It is a surprisingly easy thing to make because hemp is, well, it's everywhere. It's just so easy to produce. So, hmm, not sure just yet. Nia is, at this point, a bit of a drain on our resources. Either way, I think we're very nearly finished this mission. Just make sure that this chick is happy, send her a couple more ceramics, and then we're good. And there we go. Large palace is complete. Let's 
double check we are we've completed everything so the mission is complete this was a very very easy one uh, at least from your perspective from my perspective it was a little more difficult because there was quite a bit of rearranging that needed to be done and uh, I mean I didn't have to go through the process of planning and building up an entire city all over again but there were a few problems when I left the city that uh, sort of weren't quite the same when I loaded back in like these guys here uh, we're struggling a long long time with tea, so I did need to sort of play around with the amount of exports we're doing and so on and so forth As well as setting up a couple of extra farms and importing uh, additional food sources just because we're so far away From these ones up here that was sort of stuffing things up a bit, but now having the two mills in here They are fully stocked uh, all our resources are through the roof and every single housing block is nice and stable um you know what, this is actually a pretty nice city, all things considered. We've got this big-ass palace down here. Uh, if I had more time, of course, I could uh, maybe throw another housing block over here and just sort of try and beautify the place up a bit. But unfortunately, we're going to be heading on to the next mission very, very shortly. Excellent work. The twinkling fires of the Grand Palace of Chang'an glow nightly as a subtle reminder of the power and glory of the Tang Empire. Meanwhile, in the cloaked depths of the palace, it is said that Emperor Shen Zhong has become infatuated with the beautiful and charming Yang Guifei, wife of one of his many sons. Forsaking her husband, she has taken residence in the palace as a Taoist priestess. Affairs of state no longer interest our emperor, as he only has eyes for her, and she, like so many others, has her own agenda. And yet again, incompetence seeking, uh, sinking into the Tang Empire. Incompetence and decadence. I mean, for God's sakes, these people just uh, know out of touch with the world. They can't seem to run their empire particularly well. And it's only been a few generations and the entire empire is about to collapse yet again. So they seem to be getting quicker and quicker. They, uh, they rebuild, they, they take control, and then they collapse much, much quicker than they used to, the older original empires. But anyway... This is the end of the episode. I'm going to smash out a couple more episodes, I think, if I've got enough time today. And so hopefully you guys will be able to see a couple more coming up shortly. I do recognize that the last couple of weeks have been a little bit iffy in terms of content all over the place. But I'm in the middle of my exam period at the moment, as I mentioned last episode. And I need to sort of uh, work around that and see what time I can find. Anyway, guys, smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy the content. Thumbs down button there waiting for you if you think it's a little bit shitty. Uh, but at least drop a comment, let me know exactly how I can improve if that is your concern. Anyway guys, take care, and I'll see you around.